The numbers you should have on this phone should be limited to 10. 10 because I know you have relatives. If anyone wants to talk to you, let him or her go and buy you a phone. Chief, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to dictate how I live my life? Is that the same thing I do to you? I don't care. I have told you. If anyone wants to speak with you, let him or her get you a phone. Chief. Wicked! This is an act of wickedness. How? I understand that you bought me a phone, but you don't have to rub it in my face all the time. Ella, how dare you? How dare you speak to me in that? that, that ah! You are mad. That's my pretty woman. My money is talking. <laughs> so where are you up to? She finally are eagerly waiting for me to leave. And you have a meeting with the board. Uh, why are you talking like that? Hmm? My baby girl. Hmm? Should I call Emma to take you? No, I can take her myself. You know I don't like it when you say no to my little, little guest. If I don't need your kind gestures today, I can take care of myself. Oh, why not? Okay. See ya. If Oga goes out today, make sure you tell me when I come back. Ah. Madam, I won't go hard small. Though. See, Oga don't drag my ear. Let me tell anything where they happen for the compound. Man, not tell anybody. He did. Emeka, who employed you? You, man. And who can sack you? <laughs> Madam, you never reach like that now. Go, you... My friend, go open the gate. No worry, I'll go update you, man. Sorry, yeah, no verse. I'll go update you. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Are you home? Emeka. I did hear. <laughs> Kids, my baby. <laughs> see, as long as you're involved there, you see this office, I go nowhere. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, Emeka. Mind the way you talk to me. He said, be coming down your bloody heart. Yeah? Is it because you're a fine girl? Yeah, now nah, you want to be showing yourself up and down. Yeah? <laughs> See, me and you, we are meant for each other. God forbid, we're a bad woman. Kids. Mm -mm. I beg, take this man, go inside. See, this thing that you're doing, you don't know me and you, we are meant for each other. Kids. Yeah? Look at that. Hey. <laughs>
I mean, I can't wait to leave this, this, this house. Everything is just irritating me. Eh? Ella, every time you are tired, every time you are tired, you want to leave this place. Okay, leave if you have the money now. It's not like that, but you know my standard, girl. I'm not supposed to be seen around here. Okay, look at the kind of neighbors we have. Does it even make... Everything that irritates me, babe. Ella, all the men in your life, what are they used to you? I was going to tell Chief, but... Hey, I'm telling him now. Chief Richard has bastard money. All his children are abroad. I mean, what does he do with his money? Does he, does he touch you for free? See, I, I just didn't want anybody to see me like I'm too demanding. You know this man, by the time... Oh, yeah, do you sugar daddy? You want to be seen as a good girl? <laughs> Look at you. Let me tell you, all these men, they know that it is money that you want, that we want. They know. So you just give them what they want. You take what you want. Okay, don't make <laughs> you laugh. Which one is sugar well, daddy? Well, have you ever seen a broke sugar daddy before? <laughs> Even if there is one, I, with the girl with him, what will she, what will she gain from the relationship? Just two minutes of tireless what I don't know. <laughs> I beg. It's not that serious now. Calm down. Call Chief Richard, Mr. Richard, your sugar daddy, anyone. Call him. Tell him your predicament so that we will move out of here. Uh -huh. You don't want to move out of here again. I don't want to move. Why don't you go and look for your own sugar daddy so that we will tell our predicament? Must it be me calling to tell predicament? There's this thing called destiny. It's different. So my destiny is to have sugar daddy. I'm focused on something. No, it's my destiny is to have sugar daddy. I've had my bath here. I'm made up. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm for sugar daddy too. <laughs> Your baby girl lifestyle can just bloom, you know. Madam, ah, Emaya here. Yes, uh, Madam. Oga said I should come and uh, take him to to work. Richard. Yes. It's public holiday. Florence, please let's not make a big deal out of this. I have an emergency meeting to attend to. I'll be back for next week. Go well. No, sir, uh, but I'm supposed to go right. Hey, man, I said make left. Are you questioning my movement? My friend, make your left. All right, um, park the car. Okay, sir. This is my ATM card here. Take it to anywhere you like. Enjoy yourself, but do not do more than five thousand. I will drive myself. Get down. I'll get the car myself. When I need you, I'll call you back.
Don't come back. Maker, what kept you so long? Now? Sorry. Ah. You might have been doing one or two. Right. Uh, uh, by the way, where will God tell Madame say they go? Ah, hey, Maker, mind your business now. Mind your business. Me and no deal. Besides, all of them are on a day the same. Yeah, you and who is the same? Me and no girl no be the same. Look as it is soon now. It can't happen. Say, me and you, you understand? Where you going to go to look outside? What are they fine? Now the same yeah? thing we all got tell madam. Now we don't they pew 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 pew. They carry small small girls. No, yeah, I, 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 know I know if it be like that. Which are they do pew 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 for when I get you? Eh? You Kate, are who they Kate. sleep for that gate? Kate, Kate. You are who they sleep there? No, I know they like that now. You suppose no? You know they like that? You suppose no now? You are who they sleep for that house? Come me alone, they sleep. You are who they sleep for that you house? You want to accuse me of something I don't know about you? Kate! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ella Fresh. <laughs> I don't know why you are this fresh. Looks like you have this sweetener inside you. <laughs> that is the effect of being Ella. You know. You know what? What? I don't feel like going again. <laughs> I want you to kill me with love. Uh -huh. God will understand. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You see, that's why I said it's necessary that I have my own house. If I had my house now, I would have more time to relax, you know, and have fun with each other. But you have a house already. Ah, oh, Chief. Will you agree with me that that is a house? That's not a house. That's a rat hole. Stepping into that place alone, this your white will become brown or black. Mm. You know what I mean. Chief, please get me a house. You, know, you have this way of turning my brain upside out. I mean, inside out, rather. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will get you a well-furnished apartment. Just like that? Yes, watch me do it. Oh, my days. <laughs> I am going to get you a well-furnished apartment. Oh, my mm. <laughs> Chief, thank you. Anything for you? Thank you so much. <laughs> Come here now. <laughs> but I am not going to spend the night. My wife is becoming nosy these days. It's okay, Chief. No problem. But well, that doesn't mean you won't give me a touch tonight. <laughs> hmm? Let's go to our usual spot. Let's start. <laughs> If Madam asks you, tell her you dropped me off at the office and went home. Is that clear? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ella, what did you just say? You're looking at a prospective new house. I'm calculating my life. How I'm going to move into my new apartment. As you are looking at me now, you're looking at the latest house owner. You see? Hey. Eli, Eli, say it again. My sugar daddy is about to get me a brand new apartment. Well furnished. Hey. On that fire broke boyfriend. Like your ex. You see? I beg, leave that one. Are you serious? We're going to pack out of this place. Of course. Wow! This is good news. Chief. Yes. You took out five million from the company's account. What did you do with it? What kind of question is that? How I spend my hard earned money is none of your business. Is that what you're telling me, Chief? Is that what you're telling me? It's none of my business. What did you do with it? If you must know, I used it to settle some official emergencies. Official emergencies? Official emergencies, Chief. What was so difficult for you to tell me? 
Because I did think it necessary. Oh, okay. I'm trust you. Chief, everything okay? Can I have some alone time in this house? Please, let me be. I'm going out. I just came to tell you. Please, go, 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 go. Can I serve you food? Leave me alone! What kind of food I won't serve you? I said get out. Out! My food. Are you mad? Yes. Sorry for yourself. Emeka! Emeka! Are you deaf? Open the door. Suck it. Your mask. Emeka, you got chopped chicken and chips. <laughs> chicken and chips, that one I question. Bring her, come now, nah. I'm at level. Now, I got food though. I give them, you reject them. I go show madam. Madam says she know the job. So you go chop. Which you call and just now? She now go. Who am I to say no? They gonna blame chicken and chips. It's too like food. Okay. Eh, be, be, be. Wait, wait, come. Wait, sir. What did they do I got today now? I know. 
So now, small girl go verse a massage. You go carry the verse now. Come and say, I come to dash everybody for the house. Which I think that now. Nigga, this your mouth will put you for trouble. But that's why I talk now. Oga will not go pass woman. We just come now, the carry face. We don't do talk. Let it. Nah, I tired today, bro. Better shut up, man. The day window. The day inside, they will hear you. Bring the chicken and chips. <laughs> Did you see the new freezer? So big! It's gigantic. Listen, I cannot wait to set up food in it. I'm gonna make soup, I'm gonna make stew. So, this is the nonsense you were doing that made you not to take my call? Chief. You will not chief me. Good afternoon, Chief. Can you afford one million naira? Let alone. How much it cost me to rent and furnish this apartment for you? Were you not properly trained? Chief, that, that's not fair. I did not intentionally miss your call. I didn't see my phone ring. How would you say it when you were around the method now? You know what? I am going to seize your allowance for one month. Chief, that, 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 that's not fair. You need to keep quiet. Chief, I didn't do anything wrong. I only... I said keep quiet. I'm what sorry. is not fair? I'm sorry. I'm hot. I need you to touch me and soak my nerves. Now, as a nun. Did you hear what I said? I, I've heard you. Let's go to the room. Oh, I hate his guts. How can someone not even know how to talk? He'll just open his mouth and whatever falls out from it, he says it to you. What does he take me for? He would have to endure it. After all, it would not last forever. For the meantime, while you're enjoying his money, it's getting out of hand. It's becoming too much. Do you want to leave him? I wish I could. Then stop complaining. You know how these things work. Someone will just talk to you anyhow and just say horrible things to you. My God, when? When? Don't worry. You're going to catch your own big fish soon. He may even be richer. <laughs> but come to think of it, how did he know that that's your favorite car? We talked about it once. He didn't even act like it was a thing to him. You know, those kind of just careless conversations. I didn't know this man kept it somewhere in his head. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I'm having a second thought. I'm going to take this Yoshika daddy from you. Are you going to take all the troubles as well? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 It doesn't matter. Do it doesn't you matter. tolerate half of the things that I tolerate from this man? Huh? It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. You just doesn't have patience. <laughs> you. When they start giving you bascos, you just like, <laughs> So it's I'll okay. get my bag and then the car here. It's okay. All right. I'll be waiting. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm your new neighbor and my name is Ken. Welcome to the hood. Thank you. Congratulations on your new car. You said you're the new neighbor, so how come you know it's a new car? Um, because I was there the day your dad brought it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice place you go. Thank you. You know, I could come around. I said thank you. Yeah. See you around. Congratulations on your new car. I was here when your father gave it to you. Can you imagine? That last line finished me. It killed me completely. What nonsense is that? What, what did you expect the innocent young man to do? Don't blame him now. It's not his fault. Did I ask him to come here and congratulate me? Did I ask him? He's your neighbor. So you both have to get to know yourself. I don't want to get to know any neighbor. Everybody should just, just be on their own. He was just being nice. Jay, did you send that guy to come here and speak to me? <laughs> because what do you make of this? So wait, wait, wait. Which one is this one affecting you now? Is it the greeting? Is it the car or the father? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was here with my father and gave it to you. It's okay. I will tell him to stay on his own. Better tell him. How do you just sit down and begin to assume things? Assumption is. I was here when your father gave. You have just said thank you. Thank you. Is he my father? <clears throat> is he? I'll tell him to stay on his own. Yes, it was all fun yesterday at the club. You know, he landed a 15 million contract, so he was giving everyone a treat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I tell you not a I'll lie. <laughs> what are you even saying? Hmm? Okay, fine. I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. What is wrong with you? Didn't you see me here? Chief, is that why you took the phone abruptly from me? I was talking to a friend. You're talking to a friend? A friend that bought you this phone? Mm. Ella, I spent my hard earned money to get you this phone. So you don't tell me what to do. For goodness sake, I cannot be in your presence and you're laughing. Crying over the phone with someone who did not even know how this phone came about. Am I supposed to be crying? I know you bought me the phone, but do you have to rub it on my face? What is this? Good 
day, ma. Uh -huh. Emma? Yes, ma'am. I thought you were with you. That's, that's why I'm here. What do you mean that's why you're here? I came to pick him up. Chief left some hours ago. And I thought you were the one who took him to the office. Because he told me so. Uh, 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 uh. Um, it's fine. It's okay. No problem. Just don't let him know you were here. Okay. Richard. The numbers you should have on this phone should be limited to 10. 10 because I know you have relatives. If anyone wants to talk to you, let him or her go and buy you a phone. Chief, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to dictate how I live my life? Is that the same thing I do to you? I don't care. I have told you. If anyone wants to speak with you, let him or her get you a phone. Chief, this is wicked. This is an act of wickedness. How I understand that you bought me a phone, but you don't have to rub it in my face all the time. Ella, how dare you? How dare you speak to me in that time? <laughs> you are mad. I didn't eat last night. No, he did not. <laughs> okay. Don't make anything today. Whatever is in the fridge, I will eat when I'm hungry. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. I'm going out. Since when have you needed my permission to go out? <laughs> what is wrong with me telling my daughter that I'm going out? Come on. Anyway, I heard you sacked Emma. You now have a new driver. Sacked Emma? How? Emma was one that wrote me yesterday. Emma was here looking for you yesterday too. Um, um uh, we... He, he I... Uh, Oh, I just remember. I dropped myself yesterday. I see. <laughs> it's okay. I will see you when I come back. I don't like seeing you this way. It's okay. I bought you a perfume, Chanel brand, and your favorite body spray. You did. You know how much I love you. Thank you, but you didn't have to. Why not? You're not the and that's not all. Go in there, change into something nice. I am taking you out for shopping. Zeddy, <laughs> stop it. Come on. Stop. I want to spoil you a little. Are you serious? Oh, yes. <laughs> no, I just love you. Come here. <laughs> I'll be out in a gym. Just give me. I will be happy. Well, money answered. Oh, problem. Hey.
Ella, so because of money, because of money, you want to overlook the fact that he laid his hands on you. Listen, I know that. I know that it's not right for him to, to put his hands on me. But I can't leave him. I can't. You can't leave him. Ella, is it until he disfigures you? Is it until he gives you a scar in a place that you cannot forget? Sweetheart, the highest thing that would happen is that he will leave you and go back to his wife. Listen, she loves me. And that is all that matters. All right? He loves me. He loves me. you. Yes, he loves me. Did you even see the things he bought for me yesterday? Did you? Girl, you need to see them. How can... How can one man lavish such amount of money on you if he doesn't love you? This house that we live in, it's courtesy of him. Ella, this is too toxic for you. Too toxic for you. I'm not interested in things he bought for you. I'm hungry. Did you cook? Yes, I did. With... Chiefs, money. I get it. Makes you smile today, makes you cry tomorrow. It's too toxic for you. Yet you live in a house that he got for me. It is too toxic for you. Yet you eat. Food made with money from his pocket. Honka go kill you. He's so jealous, so loving. I don't know which way to go. Ooh, I don't need this kind of love. He must stop the car. Sir? Are you deaf? I said, stop the car. Okay, sir. Sir, I, I hope all is well. Emma, I will drive myself. And by the way, why did you come back to the house looking for me after I told you I'd be driving myself? Sir, I'm sorry. I got the message late. It was due to some technical issues. Henceforth, you will only drive me away from the house and go home. Okay? Okay, sir. Then where are you going to looking so hot and classy? Okay. Just in case your sugar daddy wants to come see his side chick. Let me find my square roots. You're the one that is the side <laughs> chick. You're the side chicken. <laughs> ah, no, on a more serious note, I have some business to attend to, so. Some business. Hook up business, I guess. <laughs> you know, I don't do stuff like that. You're going though. to see that guy that you met on social media. You think I don't know? I knew Let it. Let me breathe. Let breathe. me breathe. But just agree that that's who you're going to see. Hello. Jane. Breathe. See you. You too. <laughs> Better not come back here with this location because I'll send you back to where you're coming from. Jane, breathe. Breathe away. Daddy! Oh, I thought you weren't going to make it again. 
I'm sorry. It's good to see you. Some here at Welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I had to go to the company to let them know that I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's been a while before they forget their obligations. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're good. Nobody's stressing you up. <laughs> oh, well, I'm good. And yes, no one is stressing me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you're here, can I get you something to eat? Or Who is that eat? calling you? Who is that calling you? For the sake I have asked you to stop. They should stop calling you. I have the right to know. I bought this for Who is that? This is just, it's not something that should get you up. It's Ella, just have I not want you to stop taking their calls, especially when I'm around? Why is this even supposed to create issues? Why? That I have a call and I cannot receive it on my phone just because you bought the phone for me. Why? That somebody is calling me and I can't take the call just because you're the one that bought the phone. Hello? Hello? Ah! Ah! Even my wife, who is of higher standard, does not talk back at me or do what I ask her not to do. Leave me alone, Jim. Leave me alone. Leave me, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why is everyone so annoying today? What's going on? Kate! Kate! Sir? Welcome, sir. It took you to hold it to answer me. Why? Sorry, sir. I've been in the kitchen. I'm not here. Sorry for yourself. Now, take this bit case upstairs. Okay. Get me in the sea. Get me in the sea! Get! Come on, get me in the sea! Okay. Going on. Honestly, I've always thought he was your father. Never knew he wasn't. I. Listen, it's not something that I'm proud of. I feel like I've gone too deep into it that I cannot come out. It's okay. Um, but have you tried talking to him first? He doesn't listen. He never ever listens to me. He will not listen. He feels he's right with everything he does. It's fine. But I think you should still talk to him first. Let's see how it goes. It's not gonna work. Listen, enough of me. Enough. Okay, let's. Let me not ruin your day. Cheers. Cheers. Anything that will bring smiles on your face, uh -huh. I am in. Happy birthday once again. Ah, uh, thank you. There's nothing they will tell me in this life. Poverty is a bastard. Look at this. Can I see your eye? Jane, stop exaggerating. Don't make it look like it's a big deal. This is not a big deal. Ella, not even your father will beat you the way he did. Oh, we've settled already. Really? Just because he wired one million naira into your account? Huh? That's why I say poverty is a bastard. Turn that for your poverty. Why are you running your mouth now? You're talking as though you're not going to spend the money with me. Even if Jane will spend the money with you. I mean, that, I should not support him beating you and bribing you. That's unfair. It's better for me to cry inside a private jet than for me to cry inside a tricycle. So stop all this nonsense. Can you hear yourself? Look at your eyes, Ella. Look at your eye. Ha! Poverty is a bastard. There's nothing they will tell me. It's not the last food that you microwaved. <laughs> anyway, this is I cooked. 
What? You cooked? I cooked. You didn't place orders today. Your girl is broke. My fat is ma. Gee, I was even going to ask you for a little something to line my pocket with. Oh, well. I do not have a little something for you to line your pocket with. Go out there. Find your own sugar daddy that will beat you and bless you eventually. Hell no. God knows that I cannot even have a sugar daddy. And even if I do, he will not be a toxic sugar daddy. No, no, no. You cannot have a sugar daddy. But you can eat from the proceeds of his pocket, of a sugar daddy's pocket. Huh? Girl. You had this just yesterday, two of them actually, and you did not finish one. Mm -hmm. So, spill. Jane and Gist. I think your name should be called Gist instead. <laughs> Ella, come on now. When you served food for yourself, did you serve me? Huh? Okay, I'll serve you. I'll serve you. When we're done with this Gist, I will personally serve you. I won't, okay, I won't eat. When we're done Gisting, I'll serve you. Better for you. So, this is your new neighbor, that guy. Anyways, it's nothing, nothing much. He's just, he's a pretty nice guy, you know. I, I, he's, he's quite humorous. I like his sense of humor. I'm wondering why I didn't make him my bestie since the first day he moved in here. Really? I should have made really? him my bestie. <laughs> You know, I haven't really told anyone that I have a sugar dad. I was expecting some sort of stigmatization or blame game, something like that. But he didn't come up with any of those. Yeah, even though he just said that it wasn't decent to keep a sugar daddy. But he didn't blame me. He didn't do any of those, you know, things I was thinking about. He, he was just cool with it. What if he is... Just keeping up appearances and then goes back to condemn you. Ken is not that kind of a guy. His IQ level is top notch. I well, see. Mm -hmm. Good for him. Oh, jeez. So that's my brother's house opening. Glad you remembered. Ah. Let's go and get ready and get there. Not until you serve my own food. Oh, we're going out. You will eat there. I will eat there. Why didn't you want to eat there? Oh yeah, wait, let me get your own food, but I'll go with my Better. <laughs> I don't want I cannot have a sugar dad. Now you're eating rice and chicken. You have forgotten that it is from a sugar daddy's pocket that the money was gotten for. Shit. 
You're here. So this is what you do. Ella, this is what you do. Eh? You had the effrontery to hug a man outside. So after spending my hard earned money on you, you go about frolicking with men. You did this before me. What if I'm not around? Ella, come back here. Come back here. I see. I'll be back. Just don't think about it. It's okay. It's okay. Just stay calm. It's fine. It's fine. This kind of love could take your breath away. You don't need a kind of man that makes you smile today and makes you cry tomorrow. This love is toxic. Hello. Take your breath away. Cause every woman needs a loving so Sweetie. I am sorry. It was an involuntary action. I don't even know what it is up with me. I cherish you so much that most times in the office I feel restless. Thinking that some men would take you away from me. I'm sorry. Chief, you should have asked. You should have at least asked. Of course I do. And I trust you. It's just that I couldn't bear it seeing that boy hug you like that. Chief, yes, that boy is Jane's brother. And we were only there because... He was doing his house opening. But you should have told me that you were going out. Why do I have to give you every single detail about my daily living? Why? You see, in that case, I will be okay. Please do me this simple and single favor. Ella, I love you. Believe me. It's okay. Does that mean I am forgiven? Yes, you are. That's my baby. I go to this. You did? Yes. That's a money bouquet. I know. <laughs> Hi, Ken. Hi. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Ah, I didn't go out. You know, I really don't go out much. But Jen's been out since morning and I was bored. And it's good I didn't go out myself today. So what's going on with you? I'm just here. Would you like to play a game today? Welcome aboard. I'm the champ, as always. FIFA 18. FIFA 18. That's an outdated one now. Come on, for losers like you. That's okay. There's this new movie I downloaded. Maybe mm -hmm. we can see it together. Great. Hurry now. You play. Ah. Excuse me. Losers. Oh, come on. Please, bring it on already. Hey, what are you doing here? 
I'm waiting for Madame. But she didn't tell me she was going out. Besides, today is her off day. Anyway, yeah. never mind. Yes, I, I know. Um, she, she, she told me I should come and drop her off at the airport. That's why I'm here. The airport? Florence! The way Madame give God this morning, show them directly. Hey, I'm so You know, say Madame don't they show and pepper for this house. The silent treatment with Madame they give them, it is sweet me that I swear. They sweet you like this. Say. <laughs> but that man, that man, who they try. That man, see no fish stay one place. Pium, 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 pium. As Madame fine rich, eh, with skin they like catfish, smooth. <laughs> As Madame fine rich, no be so of they do pium, 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 pium. No, be so that they do pium 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 pium. Why did they do this thing? This is where they talk now. It the pain inside my chest. It the pain for my heart. Eh? You know, say I love you, my kids. Listen, I only you. I don't know what to say. No, they say. Kids, don't touch me again. You know, if I get you like this, eh? I no feel look anywhere again. Are they crazy? What are you going to find outside? I will concentrate on you like this, eh? Now the same thing, I'll get, I'll get them and them. No touch me again for this household. You know, I don't like what I will do. I will change up for you. No touch me again. Kate, confess. Me, I never finish. <laughs> Kate, Kate. Asawa. Thank you. How could you grow up? I won. Did you see that? No, no, that. I won. Now watch the replay. Oh, Look at that. No. No, that's you children. I look, did look, not. Look, look, she, look, look. My pride, my pride couldn't control and keep us called itself. How is that my fault? I won. That's a goal. Cheated. It's mine. I did not cheat. What is wrong with you? Anyways. I think you're hungry. What would you like to eat so you can have energy to play game? Anything would be fine. Actually. Anything is nothing. What would you eat? You know, I hardly see a girl who I was a PS5 mini, it was only in my university days. Come to think of you having a PlayStation in your apartment. Well, the thing is, back in my university days, I used to be a whooper. I did this with a couple of my guys around. Oh, me. that best explains it. Mm -hmm. But I'm still your champ, anyways. Except for the fast you cheated. I didn't you cheat. cheat. I didn't you cheat. cheat. I didn't. What can is I, wrong with can you? Can I get something to eat now? Yes, you need to eat something. So, what would you like to eat? Oh, um, maybe some fried rice and chicken for the champs, you know what I mean? We're going to start making fried rice and chicken now. That's right. We still got a game to play. Okay, whatever, just get anything. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Did my wife tell you where she was going? No, sir. She didn't mention it to you in any way? No, but I think she went for a business trip. No? I called her office and they said she did not go on any business trip. Never mind. Forget that last, okay? Mm -hmm. So they pay you. You can't even eat. You swallowed your own dose of medicine. I wish Madame would just go for this without coming back, so it would pay you well. I'm just going to eat. That's all I'm going to my room. Emma, I don't want to be repeating myself. Anytime I ask you to stop the car, stop the car. Sir, I, I thought I was going to be dropping you at the office today. Emma, 
I want to drive my son. Sir, you, you, I was thinking since Madame traveled, uh, all this wouldn't really be necessary. You think Madame is a moron? She would have asked Emeka to keep an eye on me. So you keep coming to the house and be doing your job. Okay? Oh, yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Now, come down. Tomorrow, we're going to start off with the abdominal section, okay? What abdominal? <laughs> Please. Come on, you guys just grab three lines. Ella, what is the nature of your stupidity? Tell me. Chief. What was hard for you to call and tell me that you went out for jogging since you want to represent the country in the Olympics? Chief, it is nothing serious. I only went out with my with my friends to burn some calories. What is wrong with you, Ella? For goodness sake, I spent too much money on you. I do everything to make you happy. Even these things you're wearing, I bought them. I left my house to come here only to be lost out from the same house I rented for you. You think I am as jobless as you are? I don't know what else you want me to do for you. What is wrong with you? Ella, come back here. Ella, come back here and say sorry. Come back here. Love could take your breath All right. away. I know what to do. You don't need a kind of man that makes you smile today and makes you cry tomorrow. This love is tossing. Take your breath away. Cause every human is loving so sweet. Please don't take my breath away. Sugar dust. Here you go, sweetie. Thank you. You're welcome. In a word sick. I don't I don't know how to tell this man that I do not like the way he talks to me. Ella, honestly, if I were you, I'll talk to him straight up. I, I can't do that. You know me, and you know the things that I'm capable of doing and the things that I that I cannot do. I can't do this one. I'm not capable of this. Ella, are you guys not in a relationship? Talk to him like the boyfriend that he is. I can't. I'm tired of him. Do you want to leave him? Leave him, you say? Leave him to where? Who's supposed to maintain this... This baby girl lifestyle for me. I mean, who's gonna foot my bills? I'm even scared of losing him and I don't want to be the one to trigger it. Ella, I mean, my only advice here is you guys can cook up a conversation. Try to talk it over one time at least. Let's see how it goes. Come on. Never mind, I'll, I'll figure out a way. I'll, I'll figure out something. You'll be fine, okay? Just to be in fun. Oh, please. Never mind. I honestly wish he can... He can act differently and... 
be softer with me. Yeah, yeah, I get it. He's a nice guy. He takes care of me, foots my bill. He knows how to spoil me with gifts. I just don't want to lose him. I only want him to, to treat me better, you know. Like I said, the last time have you tried talking to him about it? No, I haven't. I don't even know how that is going to turn out. The most he can do is hit you if you say something that triggers him about me. You have to add your mind and then free your emotions. Well, maybe I'll do that. So, ready to get your ass whooped? Oh, come on, because I let you in the last time. Please. Get the parts. Let's, get, see let's get it going. Come on, come on, slow it down. Can I get something to drink from the first time with your ass? Anything. For losers. Country. Come on, come to that. Come on. So why is your face like this? Is it because of that small shout? So that you know I care about you. I love you to the point that anytime you make a move that I do not understand, I feel you're leaving me. Chief, you need to understand me. You also need to trust me. I have a life outside this relationship. And being here with you feels like I'm in bondage. Why? What are you talking about? So that I will leave you, so that you can go out and be sleeping with other men, people who have not contributed a dime he to goes, your well-being. He goes again. Ah. That is why I, I I I make sure I bring up my daughter in a way that she will not be as useless as you are. What? What rubbish is that? Me? Talk rubbish? Are you mad? your life to what end? What is it that he's giving you that you can't say no to him? Listen, he has, he has done so much for me. Have achieved so much that I couldn't have ordinarily. All I need to do is endure this. Listen, Ella, no one deserves to be in an abusive relationship and not you. But this man has to be put to a stop somehow. I'm not gonna be a waste. I just feel like. Emma, what are you doing? But this guy is parked outside. Yeah, no, no. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You want? Yeah. Uh, so. Right. So can you go walk? I said you go walk before. My pretty woman, the love of my life, my soul met. I am very sorry. Sometimes I don't even know why I didn't meet you before my wife. I am 
sir. Okay. I went back home and realized that I've hurt the only woman that means the world to me. I'm sorry, okay? Okay. I bought you a lot of gifts. Wrist watches, expensive ones. Diamond bracelets. Take a look. I'm sure you don't like them. Okay, please. Sweetie, yes. you know what? What? I want the whole world to know that someone like Chief Richard is in your life. Yes, I want to begin to spend more lavishly on you. Change your looks, begin to wear wigs, wigs? expensive human hairs. No, I don't oh, mean that. Yes, you know what? I'm still going to take you, if possible, to Dubai to change your wardrobe. Yes. Uh, look at your nerves. Mm, your toes. Sweetheart, I think you should go for pedicure and manicure. Chief, please stop already. And then, I am thinking of changing your car. <laughs> I've been waiting for you now. It's over 10 minutes now. Yes, I'm waiting. Please come and pick him. Alright. Lawrence, that was the mama driver you just spoke with. Mm -hmm. As I can see, I'm about to go out. Since when did you start using Ima? What do you mean? Throughout yesterday, Ima was with me, running errands for me. So, what are you talking about? Well, Ima brought me back from the airport yesterday. Oh. oh. He did? He did. <sighs> All the same, I, I, I'm going out. So, you may have to arrange for someone else to come and carry me. I said, let's go. Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for madame. Come on. Let's go. Go to where? For goodness sake. Are you the one paying a man or I'm the one paying him? Chief, why pay for something you don't use? You've been driving yourself for a while now. So don't even pretend like you need a man. Missed it. 
Thank God. <laughs> it's close. Play now. Chief, second half. Oh, no. Look I at this. Won. You cheated. I told you I was. <laughs> go. Go away. Listen. Listen. I just let you win. I'm telling you. If we play another round, I'm still going to win. You want to try this? You want to try this? Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> what is got still is going on here? Ella. Oh, Chief. You're welcome. I am welcome. Will you keep your stupid greetings to yourself? Chief. 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 I bought this game for you. Not to be played with riffraffs like this. Chief, come This on. will never do well. Stop it, Chief. You're embarrassing my guest. It's, it's my friend, will you sit down until I ask you to stand? Chief. But stand up. Can you afford this couch you are sitting on? Chief! Get out of here. Come and get out. I said get out! What stupid guest are you talking about? Stop! Today is his off day. He only came here so we can play games and while away time. Mm -hmm. Because this place is a museum. Or a viewing center. Oh, Lord. I wonder what a young man like him will be doing here instead of being in his office. Yes, he has to go. Anyway, I need you to come and work on me. You've made me shout my lungs out. And when you'll be doing it, concentrate on my shoulders. Do you hear what I said? And I need you now. Hi, Ken. Hi, Jane. You're going out? Yeah, I want to pick up something, yeah? Okay. And I've been meaning to ask. Why is Ella so keen to this man? Like, this man attends to all her needs. All her needs. So that answers your question there. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm But life is not about material things, is it? Ella really suffered in her last relationship, like she was the sole provider. And then what did that guy do? He got someone else pregnant under her nose. So right now, Ella is just taking her time. She's just been a baby girl. Yeah, that's it. It's okay. I'll come around later. Right? That's fine. Let me go pick up something quickly. Yeah. This man is going to succeed in driving you crazy. He's just he, he's just being inhuman. He's just being he's just being silly. He doesn't know when to talk and when not to talk. He just opens his mouth and says anything he likes. Who does that? I can imagine the embarrassment. What kind of rubbish is that? I'm tired. I'm tired. I beg. Ah, uh -uh. how much will this money save? I'm tired. You should be. I mean, if he says he cares about you so much, then he should start by not hurting you. What's all that? Ever since I came here, you've been wearing a long face. What is wrong with you? Chief, I don't like the way you treat me. I understand you love me, but it's still not enough reason for you to... For you to lay your hands on me at the slightest provocation, I don't like it. How dare you? How dare you question my authority? Do you know how much I spend on you on a regular basis? If I decide to leave you now, can you even afford a pant? Listen, I just like your person. 
Do not blow this chance. Is that all you have to say? The part where I said that I do not like the way you treat me. You didn't hear that part. You won't be the one to tell me how to treat you. I treat my subjects anyhow I like, so long as I pick their bills. Ella, you are just an opportunist. Joblessness has cost. Eh? Is this not what joblessness has cost? Mike, I will never ever forgive you for breaking my heart in such a way that I can't even think straight. I can't even think right anymore. What will I be doing with a man old enough to be my father, if not for money and the little little help that I get from him? Eh? If not for money and heartbreak, what would I be doing with this old man? God, please. Please, Lord, help me to help me come out of this bondage and I will never go back to it again. <sighs> Why are you going to all dressed up like this? There's this guy I met the other day. So we're going out today. Really? Jane, so you went to buy a new dress because of a man. Jane, you too like man. You too like man. <laughs> you see, it's not like that. You need to see this guy. Like, he's so sophisticated. He's so touche. So, I gotta level up. <laughs> I see. He better be the one, because I don't want you coming back here to tell me stories. He better be the one, girl. Let's just hope that he doesn't disappoint, because me, I got my egg game on. <laughs> run along, run along. All right then, see you. See you. Have fun. I will. And have fun for two. Oh, you can have it. How are you feeling? You're crying. What? Look at your eyes. They are filled with tears. Listen, Ella. Whatever it is, we can fix it. Okay? I made decision out of anger. Now it's coming back to me. Meeting Chief is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Listen, you just have to make up your mind that you're leaving Chief for good. I know it's it's a it's a wrong decision to have actually started anything to do with him because he's a married man. But God forgives even the darkest of sins. Listen, right now. What we need to figure out is how you can get out of this mess. This. This is, this is going to be a tough one. Going to be a tough one. Because I don't know how to get through this. Take a deep breath. Come, come, come down and... Take a deep breath. That's fine. Listen, I understand this is not the life you are made for. You are doing much better. You were living healthy before you, before all of this started. And you can even do much better. 
Look at you, a first class graduate in accounting. Oh, you're too big to be used. You're not dumb. Listen, it's about time you sit up. I don't know where to start from. Can you please help me with my drugs, please? When did that one start? Don't you know where you keep your drugs? <coughs> please, help me with my drugs. Oh, please, leave me alone. This Ella girl will not kill me. She will not kill me. I won. Now what's the replay? Oh, look at that. Dogs. No, that's you cheated. Now. I look, did look, not look, cheat. Look, look, look. How my is pride, my pride, put control, and keep us on itself. How is that my fault? I won. That's a goal. I didn't you cheat. cheat. I didn't you cheat. cheat. I didn't. What can is I, wrong with you? Can I get something? Yes, you yes, did. <laughs> It's okay, there's this new movie I downloaded. Maybe mm -hmm. we can see it together. Great. Hurry now. You play. Okay. Excuse me. Losers. Oh, come on, please. Bring it on already. I know I've hurt you so deeply. Yes, but I am truly sorry. I am apologizing from the bottom of my heart and I promise you it will never happen again, okay? Strange. But nice. You didn't have to do this. I have to because I love you so very much. That's why I have to do this, okay? Believe me, I am not going to do anything that is going to hurt you like I've always done. That's the promise. Nice try. Feels good to know that you can apologize when you're wrong. It shows that you've realized yourself and understood that you haven't been treating me the way you should. 
You haven't been treating me like a human being. You've been talking to me like a cow. Feels good to know that you have realized. There you go again. What do you mean by that? What? I mean that owning up to your wrongs when you offend me is something that you should have realized a long time ago. But you didn't. It's good to know that you're apologizing. Does it mean you're talking to my dad? <laughs> There's something, something I don't get. Is it that you enjoy manipulating me and humiliating me and insulting me? Is that? What's the big deal in accepting your wrongs? Accepting that you are wrong and apologize? What's all this added? One second you're a nice guy and apologizing to me and pampering me with gifts and, and, and just showing me so much love. And the next second, you become a monster that I don't even know. What's the big deal in owning up to your mistakes? Are you going to die? Really? Now I see you've developed the wings for you to sit down there and talk to me like that. Ella, by the time I seize your allowance for at least six months, you will know that water has two types, cold and hot. Jeff, I am not rubbing sh you, your heart. At least let me see the things that you brought. Let Can someone just tell this man the truth? Can someone just, just lecture him? And can someone just teach him how to treat another human being? Ugh. Ella, are you sure about this plan? Never been more sure. For everything that Chief has been doing to me, this is the best plan. This is the best thing to do. So yes, I am sure. Very well then. If it's okay by you, I mean, who am I to oppose it? It is okay by me. And in the end, you would love it too. Trust you. How was your day? Oh, very well. Beautiful. Ella, no, 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 Ella, no! Chief, are you okay? Chief, who is there? Somebody help me! Chief, is hanging. Am I God? What is it? Talk to me now, talk to me. Am I God? Kids! Kids! This kind 
of love could take your breath away. You don't need a kind of man that makes you smile today and makes you cry tomorrow. This love is toxic. It could take your breath away. Cause every woman needs a loving, so, so tender. Sugar daddy. Please don't take my breath away. Sugar daddy. I don't need this kind of love. He's so jealous, so loving. I don't know which way to go. I don't need this kind of love.